gosh, I can think of a lot of great minds uh, in the field of science, right? Like, uh, I mean, going back to Aristotle, um, all the way up to, uh, like, the great minds like Charles Darwin, you know, um, Einstein, uh, Stephen Hawking, uh, Carl Sagan, you know, it goes on and on. It's uh, some really great people. So I, I'm thinking, wait, what does the other side have? The religious side. I mean, they've got to have some great minds of their own, right? You know, like the people that are really deep thinkers that are out there uh, dedicating their life to countering all of those scientists uh, and their evidence and the, and the fossils and countering all that. Yeah. And I thought of two. I, I, two doesn't sound like a lot, but, you know, like a big number, like. Uh, but you haven't heard the names, huh? Okay, you ready? One of them, Ray Comfort. So Stephen Hawking is believed to be one of the greatest minds alive today. And people buy he's into not. this. How dare you say that? The Bible says he's a fool. You know, if we, if we disagree with the Bible, when someone says I'm an atheist, they're saying I'm a fool. And no, but he's got a partner. They buddy up, okay? There's two minds to make one great one. That's what I'm saying. And the other one, his buddy, his partner in crime, the legendary child actor, <laughs> Kurt Cameron. She wanted to sleep with me and I didn't do it. I'm probably gay. Are you happy now? <laughs> I know that I sound like an unlikely uh, duo, probably not the philosophers uh, you, you had in mind, but, um, but let's hear them out. That's the least we can do. They're going to present something that I would imagine, so they claim, completely annihilates science. So I, let's see it. Behold the atheist's nightmare. Now if you study a well-made banana, you'll find on the far side there are three ridges. On the close side, two ridges. If you get your hand ready to grip a banana, you'll find on the far side there are three grooves, on the close side two grooves. The banana and the hand are perfectly made one for the other. You'll find the maker of the banana, Almighty God, has made it with a non-slip surface. It has outward indicators of inward contents, green too early, yellow just right, black too late. Now if you go to the top of the banana, you'll find as with the soda can makers, they placed a tab at the top, so God has placed a tab at the top. When you pull the tab, the contents don't squirt in your face. You'll find the wrapper, which is biodegradable, has perforations. Notice how gracefully it sits over the human hand. Notice it has a point at the top for ease of entry. It's just the right shape for the human mouth. It's chewy, easy to digest, and it's even curved toward the face to make the whole process so much easier. Seriously, Kurt, the whole of creation testifies to the genius of God's creative oh, hand. It absolutely does. And to see how perfectly my cock fits in the hand there, it's made like, it, like the creator meant it to do this. Notice it has a point at the top for ease of entry. It's just the right shape for the human mouth. I got something for your mouth, Ray. And it ain't a banana. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.